Welcome to Sneakers and Stogie! Yeah. Now, this is a special episode. We're in Austin. We're enjoying the last parts of our trip. The wildest fucking trip ever. Thank you guys. Of course. I want to introduce myself as the YouTube villain. I want to give a shout out to my right. This is Rookie. We've been having him. We've been saying shout outs for him on the show. We want to give him a shout out because he's about to get married to his beautiful wife, Lauren. And then we have Kicking Back with Mark And this is a impromptu episode because y'all know I like to be impromptu. Y'all know I like to be random and I'm here for the energy. And of course we have some of our shoes from the trip that barely got used. No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a quick show. We're not going to have too many topics today because it's Austin and we want to enjoy ourselves. And I want to say the Airbnb is a workout on its own. Yes, yes. The stairs there were just endless. Endless and, uh, fucking stairs. Yeah. Yeah, they really need to put elevators in houses where they have more than three floors. Like, this is it. And I feel like we was on Grand Theft Auto 5 on the top of the room. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. the, the trees, they're like big tree houses, you know? Because every single time you look yeah. outside, you just saw branches. Branches, <laughs> nature, yeah. and... Yeah. Oh, no, it's yeah. fucking beautiful. Yeah. That's, not the, that, that, that's not the problem. I lost my shoe out there, though. R.I.P. R.I.P. Jordan A. Slide. Yeah. It hurts. It really does. But, so we're going to have our favorite shoes that we have for the year today. And I love the ones on my right. The Cigar Sixes. Yes. And I love them for the fact that they're, if you just have a cigar, like the cigar I'm giving a rookie for me and Cordero, I'll trade this for, you know. Shout out to Daryl, appreciate you, man. For sure. We, we got your cigar. We got some more coming for you, but that was just one that I wanted you to have because we had C-notes in Austin nice. so, while we're here, so that's a good thing. But the Cigar Sixes feel like a cigar. It's very chill. I'm wearing Empress today. Comfy. Y'all seen them before, but it's fine. Y'all gonna see them again. You're gonna love my sixes and be happy. Marcus, you got bands. I know you're a Cali person. Explain the bands. Classic long. Got that, got that nice little beige green color. Yes. Leather exterior, man. And it's just a nice classic shoe. I like the long boy in it. Of course. I can walk around in it. I was doing a little bit of uh, adventure stuff this uh, weekend with it. I'll say that. Of but course. You know, it's a go-to, it's a staple. It is it's a very staple. comfortable shoe. It is, and I have a few pair of bands. I'm probably gonna bring them out when he's gone, and you can see them after this episode is done, of course. But by the time this episode comes out, the audio will be already out and everything, but we'll be probably a few more episodes getting ready for the season finale. Oh, oh yeah. Because the mid-season finale just went up, and it's been, mm-hmm. it's an hour-long episode, so think about that. The season finale will probably be a two-hour episode, and that's, nice. and that's a lot of editing. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun in editing. <laughs> and, and, and the editing, let's not forget that. But tell me about your show. Please, I, I want the world to know about your show. Kicking back with Mark Mack, so I you know me being sports journalist is mm-hmm. my way, pretty much my way of getting at these stories. Of course. Pretty much their journey right now, and just starting off just hearing out about their trial and tribulation and getting to where they're going. But I've already interviewed a couple of guys, and one that's going to the G League. Okay. Or you got you have a name to get out there in this December. I mm. pushed back with COVID and everything. Of course. And then another guy who was going to play in the basketball after the league. Oh wow. Still gonna happen, but I just did postpone with COVID and everything. Of course. So yeah, I just got more things coming back outside of sports. I'm gonna end up just pretty much reaching back with, with um within my community things I can and then mm. uh, surround the community just Another second on the show, support black and more back. Okay. So pretty much just kind of highlighting not only just black businesses, the black shows, and just, mm-hmm. just everything black is kind of giving back and kind of focusing on that. Which is a good thing because we all need, especially in this day and age. And I feel like supporting black businesses, <laughs> black podcasts, black shows are very important, especially supporting black community. And the real, the real the word is was just kind of the idea about it, just kind of. Really, just keeping what comes supporting with black business, keeping the balance in the black community. Because of course, when you look at every uh, every uh, every other race, every other ethnicity, their their economical support is just outstanding. Okay, of historically, the black. So I'm just trying to keep like that. Of course, of course, and I really can relate to that, and that's why I'm glad y'all both on the show today. This impromptu Austin show, because. 
I'm glad that you're in town. And I'm glad that you're about to get married. Yes. And as far as she shouts to Brand that's actually holding the camera. You know, she had a beautiful weekend with the bridesmaids. And a few of them follow the show. So, question before we get to get started, and that was a bird in the background if y'all can hear it. <laughs> but grape jelly or strawberry jelly? We asked me, asked me this question and I, I blew up. It started, it started it, war. It started war in the house. It started war in the house. And I, and I, I know. Up, I, I don't have a color. Fuck. Being my lost breath, that's very strong I have that. I know. <laughs> well, don't do this at home, kids. Say this. Yeah, show me a trick. Show me a trick. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Not even show them the trick. Just poke the top. Yeah. Just poke the top. Don't do this at home, kids. You know, just impromptu, because I don't have my cutter, and there was a cutter in the, in the, in the Airbnb, and it's hilarious. It's right there. That should be perfect. Yeah, so like for situations like this, you always want to keep a hole puncher on your keychain. Surprised this man doesn't have one. In my last set of Beamer <laughs> keys, ironically, no. I had the hole puncher, and I refused, because I don't trust myself with keys. <laughs> That's why I do not put the whole punch on there. I barely got the bottle cap off there. Going back to your jam question. Yeah. Great for strawberry though. It just started, it just started a big war. Like in Infinity house. War in, in the house. Yeah, and honestly, I thought it was kind of, you know, it's all, all, I thought it was going to be one-sided. You know? Oh, yeah, the answer is so simple. I thought it is simple. simple. It's strawberry. Easy. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Great <laughs> jelly militia. Whether you want to call it, call it jam, jelly, preservatives, uh, preserves, I don't care. It's strawberry. It's oh. great. It's great. I'm sorry. Have you ever had a strawberry and a grape like next to each other? Yes. And did you pick the grape over the strawberry? Yes. Or? Never. You it never. Is, yes. It's a little, little grape compared to a big, juicy strawberry. But here's the thing, though. You here's my argument. Wrong. I can do real strawberries, like preserve. I can do preserve. Yeah. But I cannot do artificial. Mm. To save my life. I cannot do artificial strawberry. So you like artificial grape? Oh, I can't do artificial grape either. Like, but artificial strawberries, if you ever had a bad pink strawberries, you would understand why. There's no such thing as a bad pink uh, Yeah, it was. <laughs> I actually got a refund for my strawberries because it was horrible. Did it, did it taste good? Was it, it was old? It was an old with hair on it, and that it wasn't noticeable. Like, it wasn't noticeable with hair. It was like, you really had to literally taste it and be like, what the hell? Oh, no. Oh, oh, so, I mean, so, so, so it was that, that pink. It was just that pink strawberry. Nah, and right. ever since then, I've been emotionally scarred from pink strawberries. So you're taking, that, you're taking the strawberry versus grape conversation out on the pink strawberry? On, on the strawberry? Oh, just strawberry. And I'm going to say this, too. We're going to get you therapy. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I will take it. <laughs> I've never really just, I've had homemade strawberry jam, mm. I've had preserve. I mean real preserves, and there's something about grape. But we had the, uh, the original conversation, I did say honey over both of them. So what is up with that honey? So, like, come on honey, now. Honey is actually a very underrated. Uh, exactly. Honey is underrated, but honey jelly? No, on, no, not right. honey jelly, like honey as a substitute for jelly. Oh, okay, I thought we were talking about like honey jelly. I'm no, like, no, honey jelly? No, no, no. I know, you heard honey jelly. That would be fire though, but you that's see, besides the point. <laughs> that's besides the point. But no, I'm just saying I would take honey over jelly just because of peanut butter and honey with waffles is amazing. Okay, so here goes the other thing. If we're gonna do honey in there, my next question is, what is the spread? Because if we're talking biscuits, I can do honey and biscuits. I do. But if we're talking toast, I'm doing strawberry jelly and toast. Like I fair can, enough. That's like, fair. But that's you, fair. You can still do. You can still do honey and toast. Oh, you definitely you can. can. I, I prefer, it's like, yeah. It's like, I, mean, I, might, I might go strawberry and jelly on a biscuit. See, and, and that's the funny thing because... Because, I mean, let's be honest. It doesn't take better than me. Great, great jelly is just not that good. Oh, it's just it's not, not an option. option. It's not an option. It's not, it's not an option. option. biscuit or anything. That's or anything. Oh, wow. It's not versatile. That's what, that's what I'm saying. It's just great jelly is really not versatile at all. Like, the only thing you can really, really put great jelly on is maybe a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Maybe. And, but even then, if strawberry is your option, you're going to go with strawberry. Yeah. I'm going with Even on Strawberry and almond butter sandwiches is where it's at. That sounds like a fire ass combination. That, 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 is fire. that sounds like a fire ass. Almond butter is a new peanut butter right now. I no, will no, actually, no, I might no. actually try that to give strawberry jelly a chance. But we talked about it a few of us last night after you know everything happened. We talked about it, and I'm gonna make sure 
I'm going to make limited custom sneakers and stogie shirts with gray jelly. Oh uh, my goodness. I'm about to be so head ass. I'm uh, like, yes. And I'm trying to get it done before the wedding. Well, you got to get strawberry shirts for a strawberry. Oh, thank you. Uh, no, no, this is your cigar. I got one. Okay, okay. I got one. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I have one, but no, that was for you. That's your personal. But I'll think about it. But no, I'm going to make the great ones. Okay. I'll think about it. And I'll put up a poll on Instagram just to see how it goes. Okay. And the strawberry beats great. I'll get you. Let's go strawberry, y'all. Strawberry. Great. All day. But another topic I wanted to get to today, you know, my partner, our trainers couldn't be here, and I'm glad that y'all are both here and living well and exhausted from this beautiful trip. Yes. But shoes, what shoes are y'all gonna be looking for next that's coming out soon? Well, you know, there's a uh, favorite color screen, so oh, in September, oh, the Oregon 5s are gonna be dropping. And what I love about these is that they took the Oregon off. I've never been to Oregon. I don't know nothing about it. I just love the color. So that, if you need that, a Jordan sign, good to go. And I, that, I can't wait for. I'm shocked because I actually like it with the Oregon sign just because of the player's edition. But that's unique. And my cousin from Cali, she's in Frisco. She wanted me to get to the Oregon Ducks. And I was like, I just want the Oregon on it. I seen, I actually seen the shoe. And I like the duck on it. I'm not even gonna lie. What about you, kicking back? Mark, back? Oh, man. Honestly, if you could, if I could, I'm classic, man. I just, I'm just waiting for the uh, conference to drop again. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. what are you saying? Is that the car course to drop it? Yeah, man. I mean, I'm just, I'm, see, I have a sad story. I just have a, okay, I have a I'm, I'm, I'm a tree. I have a sad story. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I had them, um, long story short, they got stolen. Mm-hmm. And I just, and that kind of just took me off the shoe game because I was like, that's. That's it. That, that, yeah, that'll that, put you down. That's that some that fucked up shit. Oh no, go ahead. But yeah, that's some fucked up shit, man. And that really hurt me right here. So it, 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 it took me out the game, out the pick game for it, for some years. I was like, yeah, I gotta rethink. I have to rethink my priorities. I understand, and I can relate. Yeah. Certain shoes. And I told myself, I'll get back in the game. I'll get back in the game once I get those back. Once the Concord's re-release again, you will come back. Yeah, but they're basic shoes, so it's not, I don't have, I'm not going to have to wait long. No, no, no. They're basic. Well, they're basic because we know where they're coming. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. The demand for them is so high, obviously. Of course. <laughs> I don't know why, but of course. But what I'm waiting for, besides the off-white fours, I saw the PSG fours in the room earlier. Mm-hmm. And that burgundy looks so beautiful. It's like TSU burgundy on the shoes. It's black. It's black and burgundy. But they're fours. And I don't like fours. But I would anticipate and try to get those shoes. Hello. I would a good pair of shorts. Where's the shoes go? Well, see, that's the thing. I don't like the ankle, the piece on the on the back end. Yeah. That like these are fine because they don't they're cuff. That thing is straight. Yeah. And that's why I hate fours. And I've, I've had no argument. No argument, but it's just one. That's something I cannot do personally. So people don't know how we became good friends. Do you want? I, I want to start with the light version of the story. To keep everything general. We can keep it general. We can go into minor detail. I mean, yeah, that's your show. So you, I mean, but you, 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 know. you are a guest, and we're gonna keep it short because I did say I want a short show today. Mm-hmm. So, me and Mark Mac, thanks to the rookie, you know, they were roommates at the time, <laughs> and it was hilarious because we was we were playing beer pong, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. And I had tickets to All Star Weekend. 2014. A good year. I found some of the old pictures from that too. Oh, God, see them after this. I don't, they're not all here. They're on my actual desktop. Uh, so I will, I'll make a Google photo for that. At yeah. home pictures. Yes. <laughs> also, I found pictures with Taj and Bree. Oh, or with y'all too. Oh. So I have throwbacks. But back to the story. We, I said I had tickets to All Star Weekend and, and our trainers couldn't make it. And I said, Do you want to go to New Orleans? It was that simple. I was like, is it free? <laughs> it <laughs> is free. College student. I'm, that's my first answer. That's college or not. That's always been my that's first always question. First yeah. answer. Is it free? Yeah, it's free. I just we just need to ride down. Well, I have a car. Let's go. Yes, yeah, <laughs> I already got a place to stay. Thank you. You know who you are. Thank you. And enjoyed the weekend with a lot of great people waiting for the shows, especially me and Pat Riley. 
that I blew my mind that I didn't realize who it was after the fact. Seeing Kobe, because Kobe was on the stage too. Yeah. Shaq was Rest there. In Rest in peace to Kobe. I know you're a big fan, but that's why I wanted to bring up that story because we also saw a lot of people. In what it was so monumental for me mm-hmm. about that is my favorite rapper. Yes. Lamar. Yes. And here's the backstory. Freshman year at TSU, mm-hmm. that's, that was a fall 2012. Yes. He comes to perform for Homecoming with Erica Badu. Yes, I remember that. Yep. But ho ass TSU, and I'm a, a Mars, so I can say this, but ho ass TSU going to charge for the Homecoming ticket. Ain't never charged any other year. No. I talk, I talk to people that have been there before, before me, they're like, oh yeah, this is the first year they charge for I can't believe they're doing that. Exactly. So I don't have $70. Oh yeah, no. I couldn't find seventy dollars, but I for time. sure snuck in once I got sober enough to do it. I should have just, I should have just tried it, but I didn't. And so I missed, I missed Kada. Mm-hmm. So 2014, seeing him at All Star Weekend, mm-hmm. even though he played, he had performed two songs on Kill My Vibe, and that's it. And but he also was on, he was courtside too. Yeah, with yeah. with Jeanette Bonet, so it was real nice. And that was the first time I ever seen Buster Rhymes, and I've never seen someone that actually freaked me the hell out. I remember, remember how he looked? He looked so zombified, and I was so scared for my life. But I'm in a public setting, so it's fine. And then I want to get to a quick story about meeting you, meeting you rookie, and it's hilarious. I don't think, I don't think, I don't think I've told you the story. But we was going through the name. Me and Wagner was going through the names of all the students, and I remember. He asked me about your name, Ravante. <laughs> <laughs> and so he said, and Wagner, Wagner will tell one of my said, I said this with no verbatim. He said, Ravante sounds like a girl's name. Do you want to go to the you think you should move to the girls? I said, no, that is a Creole name. That is a boy's name. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna move him in there. And here's the kick. Here's the, here's the kicker. Kendall was the only room that was open. And so we said we're gonna move him in there. Nice. And that's how we all became close. Yeah, y'all said you set the pieces in place, man. That's what Ex- you did. Exactly. Andre was trying to throw off the ship. Exactly. The <laughs> universe alignment. <laughs> the universe alignment for the next few years of my life. And to control the power. Exactly. I think there's some shit around here. Yeah. <laughs> Good shit. That's nope. awesome, man. I did it not is, know that. You didn't know that? That's yes. interesting. Exactly. So. I'm gonna have to talk to Andre about that. Yeah, because I just saw his. <laughs> <laughs> you got know, you know, some. Yeah, I think he's in. He's either Puerto Rico or Dominican Republic. One of the two. Yes. yes. He's living his best life. Yes. All right. Shout out Wag. Shout out Wag. Wag <laughs> But we're gonna close. We're gonna do closing remarks, and we're just gonna sign off from there. You got anything you want to close your remarks? No, man. Just. um Stay healthy, you know, wash your hands and uh, yeah. stay away from people who don't feel like us right now. Yeah, we're, we're a bad example, <laughs> but we're staying with each other in Austin, so we have no choice. What about you, Ricky? Um, wear your mask and uh, love yours. That's simple. That's simple. My closing remark to make it simple and sweet, enjoy your company because you never know what good times will come with it. Yep. And I speak that from resistance from this weekend. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, Amen. we got the signature here. And we just gonna sign off from here. This is Sneakers and Stogies, your favorite YouTube villain, Landon Strange, kicking back with Mark Matt. Bow, rookie over here. Hey. We're signing out. Guest episode. You're and we're done. Thank you, thank you. Nice. Good shit.